If you are like me and like something for decoration only and is a bit expensive, what do you do? I DIY. Let's create a customized cutting board or cheese board and create a beautiful spring kitchen vignette. I took a rectangular board from my leftover of my previous project. Here I have glued together three layers of sturdy cardboard. Now this board is very tough. Next I used a cap of a bottle and cut out a circle using exacto knife about one and a half inches from the corner of a side. I'm going to cover this with wood print paper. It can be contact paper or a wrapping paper, any kind of paper, but I want to cover it neatly. So I, this is how I do the edges of the circle inside and then I cover the top and the bottom and the edges. Next I cut out three circles out of a white or rather a white cardstock paper of the same size as that of the yellow flower that I had drawn on this card or the tag that I am making. Then I folded the circles into half and then after two folds they were like one sixth each part. So now when I cut them they formed six petal flowers. I folded the flowers in petals inwards by making a crease in the center line. This I did with all the three papers. And then I added a bit of yellow color in the center of each cutout. And then I stuck them one after the other over the yellow painted flower of the tag. Making sure that each petal is falling and the gap between the below layers two petals so that no petal is overlapping the other so that the depth can be perceived and there is a three-dimensional look to the flower or the tag. I curled the edges of the petal, added some more yellow in the center of the topmost uh, layer of floral cut out and a few brown dots to it. Then I added some green leaves and it looks nice. Some detailed touches with more felt pen and it's done.
thank you Denise Jordan from this and that with Denise for holding the seasonal challenge and uh, today I'm participating in spring kitchen vignette do check out Denise Jordan's channel and also the playlist created by her for more inspiration as Denise had put down the conditions for the challenge I have uh, my bunnies here and I have some eggs here and I have my little body jar I'm sure Denise loves these because she loves birds and I'm going to do something more I have got this uh, little side table cover or you can use a napkin I'm using it because it's in a lovely green color and uh, I'm going to fold it diagonally I learned this trick from Daniel from Daniel's decor you take any fabric rectangular or circular basically you need to fold it it diagonally and then roll it then fold it into half like this so now you have your bunny ears and I'm going to use this marble goblet here and I'm going to put these bunny ears into the goblet one will stand erect and alert and the other can become a little floppy for a little relaxed look I'm using my daily use circular cutting board and I'm putting it at the back and in front of it is my today's DIY a false cutting board or cheese board in the wooden look I really love how this has turned out and it has the words bon appetit another condition put by Denise and it has given a really a new edge to this cutting board or cheese board I've also added a tag here which has a bunny and a little handmade flower bow which is giving this whole thing a re real three dimensional look and here I have this white vase uh, into which I have just put two leaves some of you might agree with me sometimes just two leaves are more than enough for a base and I think this looks just perfect here here is the little body jar and I filled it with candies that my kids love the best and in this wooden tray this is a beautiful carved wooden tray let me show it it's in this shape this lovely uh, wooden carved tray is from Shimla and I have placed my three DIY hand painted eggs in it in copper gray and white and here it says hop you can uh, check the video tutorial for making these eggs the card is given above and also in the description box below here is my hand painted bunny again a video tutorial you can check it out in the card above and the description box below and here is my spring kitchen vignette the green white and the wood they have brought a real rustic beauty to this place and I really love how this has turned out thank you Denise for holding this challenge I love how this place has turned out and if you like it too please give it a thumbs up if you like my today's DIY please put it down in the comment do subscribe to my channel for more DIY decor sale home recipe travel all these kind of videos all in a budget once you subscribe uh, to the channel please do hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post a video thank you so much for watching your comments, your likes encourage me to make more such videos, do more such DIYs and thank you so much for being with me. See you soon in my next video.